some like it. All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give our praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kakadash. The line said that I was a apostle, great meal, someone told me the truth and rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations that I come out there, scattered about to the four corners of the earth, that serve the truth and not truth and sincerity. To you, I say Shalom. That's your brother Nabala coming to you another video in the spirit. And uh, this video is going to be about basically how we need Yahweh Shai. You know, and how he's that um, he's that mediator, you know, for us, you know, and, and how we need him, because um, without Yahweh Shai, you know, Yahweh is not dealing with us. So we need somebody to to plead our case to the Heavenly Father, because we got to understand that since since we broke that first covenant, uh, Yahweh turned his back on us. So we need so we needed Yahweh Shai to come forth. You know, to um to die for us, you know, basically for our sins, to bring us back, you know, in the good graces of the heavenly Father. So that's why it's important that we have to, we we're supposed to worship Yahweh Shai. And you know, you got other camps out here who 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 are trying to denounce that, you know, who are trying to denounce Yahweh Shai, and trying to uh, denounce basically his his meaning, you know, to us. So uh, I'm going to grab the scripture. And this is Deuteronomy uh, 32 and uh, 20. It says, and he, and he said, I will hide my face from them, and I will see what their end shall be. For they are a very for forward generation, children in whom is no faith. Con. This is what Yahweh did to us. You know, he hid his, his face from us and see, and see what our end shall be. So... With him doing that, you know, Jake got fucked up, you know. Jake went through, Jake, you know, we went through, we had the slavery, you know. We, we got put at the bottom, we at the bottom of the bottom, you know. Because we turned our back on the Holy Father, so he turned his backs on us. But that was just for, that was just, you know, that was our ass whooping from the Holy Father. That's, that's who he had to, to, to you know. You need to get your ass tapped for you to get corrected. So he let her. So he let us get our ass whooped. Okay. But then he brought Yahweh Shai on the scene when we was under the first covenant. He brought Yahweh Shai under the scene for for Israel to bring us back. So now that's why. In these times, we're, we're supposed to worship Yahweh Shai. That's what we're supposed to pray to, because that's who's pleading our case to the Heavenly Father. You know, that's that's the name that we have to call on to to save us. You know that if you want salvation, that was the that's who that's who the Heavenly Father gave the power to to Yahweh Shai. So trying to to denounce Yahweh Shai, what's going? Which 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 your end gonna be basically? Because if you're not calling on that name, any other name, the, the scriptures say there's no, and I'm going to grab it later, there's no other name given to where you should be saved under. Roughly paraphrasing the, the scripture. So what are the guys out here talking about? Now this is 1 Timothy 2 and 5. It says, for there is one power. I'm going to read it verbatim. Verse, this, for there is one God and one mediator between... Yahweh and men, the man of Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. So there's only there's only one there's only one person that we can go to, and that's Yahweh Shai. There's only one person we can pray to. There's only one person pleading our case, and that's Yahweh Shai. So if you're not calling on that name correctly, if you're not praying to that name. Then you, what are you doing? Uh, I'm gonna grab this other scripture. This is Hebrews nine and fifteen, and it says, "And for this cause he is the mediator of the New Testament, that by means of death, for the redemption of the transgressions that were under the first testament, they which are called might receive the promise of eternal inheritance." Con, 
you know, and that's simple. It says the it says he is the mediator of the New Testament. It says that by means of death for the redemption of the transgressions that are under the first testament. Come on. So he came and redeemed us for our transgressions under the first testament. And that, and with him doing that, with him going through his hour, for him dying for us, he was giving what? He was giving all the power. He was giving all power and glory from Yahweh. And and he's the ones who who's dealing with us, who's who's listening to us. Cause like I said, uh the Heavenly Father is not dealing with us. Not yet at least. He gave that he gave that power to Yahweh Shai. So for you camps out here that <laughs> that out here trying to downplay Yahweh Shai, you got you got a rule awakening coming to you very soon. Okay. The scriptures say, "I every eye shall see him." And you are, and then even you, even you guys out here who are calling on the name, but don't don't truly believe, don't truly believe on him, or out here faking the funk. You got rude awakening come to you too. Um, I'm gonna grab this. Just to further make the point. Uh, this is Matthew 1 and 21. Because people don't understand. Like they they, they keep trying to say how. How is shy is, is for everybody. You know he's all love. And he came to save. You know everybody that's, that's not true. That's not what the scriptures say. It says. And he should bring forth a son. And they shall call his name Yahweh Shai. For he shall save his people from their sins. Time. And who are his people? The nation of Israel. The Israelites. You know, that's that's a, that's a singular statement. He is people. So that's not that's not talking about everybody. That's talking about a certain group of people. So that's why it's important for us to to know to know this truth. For us to get into the knowing of these scriptures to us to to find out the real names of the heavenly father and to call on those names because there's power in those names um, and i'm gonna grab this because there's because there's no other way you're gonna there's no other way you're gonna have salvation On no other way to the heavenly father other than through Yahweh Shai. But this is John 10 and 1. It says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but cometh up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. Con. So if you trying to get to the heavenly father any other type of way, he looks at you the same as a thief and a robber. And that door, what is that door? I'm going to jump down to verse 7. Then say Yahweh Shai unto them again, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am that door of the sheep. Huh? So he's that door. So there's no other way, is there's no other way to, to get to Yahweh other than Yahweh Shai. We have to pray to Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is taking our prayers and he's bringing them to the Heavenly Father. He hears us, he, Yahweh Shai hears us crying. Like, Yahweh Shai wants to come back. He wants to come fuck these places. He want to come repay these people what they did to him. Vengeance is in his heart. So he wants to come back too. But that's why we have to, we are crying out to Yahweh Shai and Yahweh Shai taking our cries to Yahweh. Pleading our case. And that's why we need him because we can't we can't do none of this we can't take down this this um this kingdom on our own. We have to be first. We have to be saved out of here. We have to be changed into those new bodies. And then we come back in with Yahweh Shai and do some damage. But other than that, we're 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 weak. We're we're worms, like the scriptures say. So we need Yahweh Shai. 
to come back and save us out of this place and come back and fuck these nations up as well. Because we're angry, but how much angry, angry is he for the things that they did to him? The scriptures say this is a light affliction. Okay, we really haven't gone through anything yet. Some brothers may have to go through things. Some brothers may not have to go through things. But regardless of what it is, it's not going to be, it's not going to. It's not going to equal up to what Yahweh Shah went through. That's why we have to like mind ourselves with the same as Yahweh Shah. Um, and then I'm going to grab his uh, last scripture. This is uh, Acts 4, number 10. It says, be it known unto you all and to all the people of Israel. There you go again. That, that by the name of Yahweh Shah Mashiach of Nazareth, whom ye crucified, whom Yahweh raised from the dead, even by him, so I can, even by him does this man stand here before you whole. This is a stone which is set at naught of you builders which has become the head of the corner. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is no other name under heaven given among men whereby, whereby we must be saved. Con. So when it goes talking about that stone, Yahweh Shah is, the, is that rock. You know, he's the foundation for this truth. So we have to believe on him. That's first. The, the scriptures say, believe on him at the scriptures say, I your belly should flow living water living waters. So believing on Yahweh Shai allows you to, to receive the Rakakadash to be able to understand these scriptures. To, to be able to retain this knowledge. So that's number one. And number two, as one, and once you learn the name and you start calling on that name, there's no that's that's the name. That's it. It's only one. Like we read earlier, there's only one God, there's only one Son. There's only one mediator, and that's Yahweh Shai. And that's the and the Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father gave the power in that name for us to be saved in. There's no other name. So for, for people out here saying that we don't need Yahweh Shai, that you can get straight to Yahweh without Yahweh Shai. Or trying to downgrade Yahweh Shai's importance, you have a rude awakening coming to you. Okay, so for you brothers out there, you know, continue, continue in this truth, you know, you know, continue to uh, believe on Yahweh Shah, continue to call on his name. You know, ask him to continue to guide you. Don't let these distractions knock you, knock you off your game. You know, keep, keep, continue to keep giving, giving you the spirit of discernment. And to, and to keep you in this thing. And uh, that's pretty much it. So, uh, Lord willing, this video was edifying. You know, I'm going to close out by giving our praise to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai. By Hashem, Kakadash. Shalom.